Yo, welcome back. Zykor here. And today in Biomutant, I'm going to continue on with, I guess, the initial quest line here that I've got to do. Or whatever this is. I've got to go through this door. So I'm not sure what the next tasks are, but I guess I'm going to continue on. So, um, let's see here. I, did I check this door already? Uh, can I even check this door? Uh, no, it doesn't let me. So I guess that door is just a door. A, a, a locked door. And this vehicle... This looks like a tanker truck that is halfway in the... the building. How can it be in the rock? It's like they cemented it in there. Huh. That's kind of weird. Huh. <laughs> okay, let's open this door. See what happens. Okay, interact. Uh, what's that? Uh, dangerous oh, in here. An emergency box from the once was a rare sight. Uh huh. So an, an emergency box. Looks like there's a crowbar in there. Old world claw bar. Okay. So I'll take that. Now, I'm not sure what the claw bar does. Let's see. Uh, is it in, a, in equipment? Uh, let's just see if it's gear. Okay, this is gear. Uh, inventory. Tools. Old world claw bar. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but... And, yeah, those are just my armor. I can't wait until I get new armor because, I mean, honestly, I don't really like the look of this armor very much. It just looks kind of dorky. <laughs> so I'd like to get something that looks kind of cooler. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, let's see. What can I do with this? Like, nothing for now? I don't think, I guess. I I'm not honestly not sure. So I guess, let's continue on. Actually, oh yeah, actually this is the map. So, wait, what? You can zoom in, kind of, but it's like it's dark. Why is it so dark? Uh, probably because I haven't unlocked it. Probably. Yeah. Okay. So, I gotta head... O oh, okay, that's why the door wasn't open. I had to go over there first. Okay, let's go through here. This is... Okay, further down. This is like the pump room or something. Is what it had said. Okay, let's see. Anything in here? Just a gate. Okay. Anything right here in the corner? Nope. Okay, so interact. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Uh, okay, so I use the claw bar on the pipe. How do I use the claw bar on the pipe? Let's see. Uh, that is a different pipe. So does it like just let me... So interact, okay. Okay, so I gotta hit X. Press X, I see. Okay. Okay, now I feel like Mario. Well, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I just I'm fall down the like, rag this place. No, really, I mean it. Why? What's dangerous about it? Okay, so getting out here. Uh, now I I'm running along to thoughtlessly. I need to be careful. Rabbit's leap. Okay, so I got a double jump. So it's basically warning me don't touch the water. Okay. Well, let's... Yeah, okay. There we go. Or it's just teaching me how to double jump. I know how to double jump, I guess, but uh, that's fairly common in games these days anyway. Let's see... 
Those are, I assume those are mushrooms on the wall. Okay. Yeah, why is there mushrooms growing on, what is it, cement? Oh, I guess they can. Okay, this looks like a toxic room. Can I, like, fire at that thing? That looks like that's causing the toxicity. Uh, let's see. Uh, that looks like the toxic goop. produce biomatter in their uh, multi-organ that okay. they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being uh -oh. when absorbed, including you. <laughs> ah, no. Come on, shoot him. Ah. Come on. Crunch. Ah, I was trying to block that. Ha ha ha. I smacked him. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio, bio, bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers at various places in the world. Okay. You can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time by accessing the mutations part of the menu. Okay. Let's check that out. The scrap keeps piling up. Okay, so. Can I. No, can't interact with them. Is there any other over here with the ones I defeated? Or are they just kind of gone? Yeah, they just kind of disappeared. Okay, up in the ante. Climb the chain. Okay, so let's just see the bio blob thingy. Can I shoot that? Uh, apparently, can't do anything to it. Okay, so... I'll climb up this chain, but is there anything else right here first? I don't see anything. Let's check the... Eh, wrong button. Okay, so here, mutations. Okay, mutations menu. Go to the mutations tab to unlock psi powers, biogenetics, and upgrade your resistances. Ah, okay, okay. So, mutations tab. There we go. Biogenetics, psi powers, or upgrade resistance. Hmm... Well, let's just go to biogenetics first. Uh, moth mouth? What is that? To use moth mouth, press the input you have bound the ability to while facing an enemy. This will infect any small humanoid enemy hit. While infected, enemies will attack their allies instead of you. Oh, that's actually kind of useful. Okay, so I got three of these points. Um, I didn't read this either, though. Uh, biogenetics are unlocked using bio points gained from the... Defeating bio creeps or finding containers. Bio points can often be found at nucleus tower sites. Okay. Vile bio. To use vile bio, press down the input you have bound the ability to. It will make you spew toxic slush in the direction you are facing, inflicting damage to all enemies hit. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay, so I can't afford any of these, so maybe I'll look at those at a later date. That's actually quite expensive, that one. Um, but they look kind of cool. Interesting that they just show them in the video form in like a, a test, um, test setting <laughs> over there. There's no, um, no world or anything. <laughs> okay, so, side powers. Side powers are unlocked using points gained from making choices in dialogue or interacting with shrines captives and civilians some powers require a specific aura score to unlock okay so these are different things that i have to get i have to get psi points i don't have psi points right now i only got the bio points so those are for the biogenetics but these look kind of they're kind of interesting the blaze looks kind of cool that dash yeah okay uh upgrade resistances these take the biogen points as well so anti-heat so you gain 10% resistance per point you put in. So eventually you can get pretty good resistances. Not bad, not bad. 
Um, spend bio points to upgrade your resistances. The higher the resistance is, the more it will cost to upgrade. It. Ah, okay. So it's not just one, it's more. So I'll just do bio, bio genetics. Um, moth mouth or vile bio. Hmm. It's be a toxic slush in the direction you're facing, inflicting damage to all enemies hit. And this one will make enemies attack their allies instead of you. That actually seems like it'd be more useful than the vile bile, is what I'm thinking. Because if you're up against multiple enemies, it would. They'd just attack each other rather than you. And that could be helpful. So I guess I'll get the moth mouth. Um, hmm. Let's just see here. Of course. I could save up my points, but I don't know how often I'm going to be getting these either. Eventually, I'll probably be able to unlock them all anyway, because as far as I remember reading, you eventually, their, I mean, their intention is eventually you can unlock everything if you really want to and play long enough. So, let's just get the Moth Mouth here. Unlock this ability. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now I have this Moth Mouth. Uh, to use moth moth, press the input you have bound the ability to... Or, oh, okay. Um, let's see. B, Y, A, or X. Hmm. Well, let's just try... A for now. Use an ability. Press the button it's bound to while pressing and holding L trigger. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I needed to know. I was thinking, does it just use it when you hit A? Okay. So, left trigger. Hold left trigger, and then... Okay. That's useful. That's useful. Let's try it out here. Um, let's just use it. It actually travels kind of slow, though. But, you know, we'll see. Wow, that actually... Did that use a lot of stamina? I think it did. Let's see how much it uses. Whoa, that uses a lot of stamina. Got to be careful with that. Okay, let's climb the chain here. Okay, get up. Get out of Bunker 101. Yeah, I'm getting out. Open this door. Okay, so I got to head down. And it wants me to... So I'm going downstairs and got to... Get around the corners. I should be looking around the corner before I go around because I don't know if there's any enemies down here. There probably isn't. Okay, let's get through this. Okay. Just this door. Get dragged with that. So, what's in here? Trying to leave the facility. <laughs> uh, that, uh, saying that reminds me of the facility in built Goldeneye. called Arks to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Uh-huh. So they're calling them Arcs. Um, just kind of like Ark. The game Ark. Yeah. <laughs> they look similar too, if you notice. Uh, that's, that's funny. Okay. Of course, I did do... Uh, I ha do have a small series on Ark, if you want to take a look at that. You should take a look at that. Okay, direct. There we go. So, what is that? Some recording? You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths, while others feature different rewards. Okay. To switch which node is selected, use left stick. Wait, what? Left stick, left. Left stick, what? That, that's kind of a confusing... There, right there. Left stick up and down. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure fully, so I'll have to test around. To rotate the node, press left button or right button. I think that's a bug. <laughs> uh, this is the number of rotations you have left. 
The higher your in intellect, the more moves you have. Oh, nuts. My intellect isn't that high. <laughs> uh, each node has a certain position it must be rotated to to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before that may have consequences. Oh, no. So, how do I rotate each of the nodes so that the colors match each other? Okay. So, there we go. Um, okay. Oh, I see. So, highlighted. You can see the little white dot highlighted. That's telling you what... Um, what one is selected. Okay, so rotate to the right. There we go. I wonder if... Oh, the D-pad works on this too. Okay. And then I'll rot this, rotate this to the right because the yellow should be on the bottom. Just the there we go. Left. Make them count. What is this? An old school video. It's a projector. There are a few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. But it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. I see. Interesting, interesting. So basically it sounds like they're kind of saying some stuff of what is kind of going on in the world today. There is a lot of toxic stuff dumped in the waters and uh, on the land and thrown in landfills, which isn't good for the environment, of course. So, yeah, it's, it is something that should be kept in mind. Okay. Interact. Okay, where am I going now? Let's get down this hall. And I just run into the room without even looking. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. Okay, sounds like somebody's it's fighting out from there. Behind that door. Yep. What's that? A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Uh huh. So, uh, brain melt as in electrical, electrically. Fi uh, like frying. Well, let's see what happens. Interact. It's going oh, to take no. a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. I see. Um. Okay. So the final one down here is lined up. Yellow with yellow, and the white with white here. Doesn't that mean I just need to go this way? Let's see. That powered the door, I think. There you go. Yes. Haha. -ha. That's good. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on over here. So, get down here. So, some animal in a wheelchair or something. Perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their head. After hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up in the air by pressing left button. Okay, left shoulder button. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Yeah, I guess. Run. Eh, no. 
Come on, get away from him. Come on. Come on. Get these thugs. Busting heads. Yeah, I gotta s whack them. Sounds like I'm uh, using a, like a baseball bat to thunk that they did on this. The last of them. Let's <laughs> there we talk go. To the wheeled one before backup arrives. Uh, I gotta interact with all of these because I want these energy packs. Um, let's see. Scrap. Just what you were looking for. Uh, what was I looking for? I didn't. I didn't see it. Uh, any others that I can? I have to see what this scrap is used for. I think it's, you know, for upgrading your weapons and stuff, but I haven't actually tested around with it. I should probably look. So there's a rope that goes up there, but I gotta go in here for this, this guy in the wheelchair here. Am I gonna be able to get back through there? A new friend and an old friend. Oh no, I probably can't get out there. Nuts, I wanted to go up that. That rope. Oh well. Let's see. Talk to out of date. So his name is out of date. Okay. Hello, out of date. Water, God of water. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. Okay, so I have a choice here. Remember what or the scar? Hmm... Well, facial scar to remember the past. Remember what? Well, uh, I'm not sure. Remember what or the scar? Because I'm not sure what to re what is remembered. I guess remember what? Probably. So, yeah, let's just say remember what, because I'm not sure what we're remembering here. How Looper Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? Okay, so I'm a survivor from the village. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Mooma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. So technically, is it saying that uh, my uh, mother in game was like the leader of the all of the animals or something because they formed tribes or something? Weird. Okay, so unity. 
or what's at stake? Hmm. I guess unity because what unity? But, uh, you know, what is at stake here? Ah, hard decision. Well, let's just say... Yeah, let's just say unity, I guess. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Uh -huh. I see. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Uh, not really. <laughs> but it looks like I'm going to be forced to remember it. <laughs> okay, by default, dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you can change this in the settings. Settings, accessibility. Okay. Way back in the long ago. Oh, so this is me long ago as a as a as a kid. Let's just see. Best before. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Uh, let's just say I hope I told her. Yeah, that's what I would probably do. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they made him sound like he Elvis. He understands why you came all the way out here. To see them, the potato people. Potato people? What are potato people? The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Huh. Okay, so I have the choice of I don't believe in magic or Nono. Potato people is better. Um. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, <laughs> why not just say no, no, potato people is better. <laughs> because honestly, I do believe in magic-ish, kind of. <laughs> uh, let's just see. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass, he says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay, so I have to ruffle the glitter grass. Glitter grass. Man, I'm really small compared to this dude. You are a big dude, aren't you? Oh, interact. Wait, what can I say to him again? You must find the glitter grass ruffle and it. ruffle it. Okay, so that's all. Okay, let's find this glitter grass. This is a nice area, though. Okay, so I have to go over here somewhere. Uh, and I'm at a wall. Okay, we're, let's see, out here probably. Maybe. So how far away is this exactly? It looks like I'm getting close to it. Oh, glitter. Okay, so I gotta walk all the way down here. I expect there's no enemies here because I'm supposed to be a, a child here, so. This is kind of a nice area though. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, aha, okay, there you go. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. Huh. 
The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Uh huh. Uh, will it grow strong enough, or what Pensai? Hmm. I'm not sure which is the best. Uh, let's just say what Pensai, because I don't know what Pensai is. <laughs> The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. Uh-huh. Okay. You will need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the nono as they become one with the tree. Uh-huh, I see. You will need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Okay, so how do I be gentle? It, that doesn't necessarily look like the best, the best net. Okay, so... Interact. Okay. I think I got one. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Okay, so where can I find them or how many does it need? Hmm. Well, I guess... Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter how many it needs. I just need to know where I can find them. Honestly. There we go. They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves where they draw mineral from the natural rock. <laughs> kind of like One this day, game. He hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. Uh -huh. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay. The inosculated pensai. Okay, so I have to go back and probably put this into the pensai tree or get it to merge with the pensai tree or something. We'll see. So I get back here and I expect all I have to do is just interact, probably. You never know, unless there's something weird I gotta do. Like, take it out of the net and um, s swirl it around. <laughs> Okay, interact. There we go. Okay, so it's gaining larger roots or something like that. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. Yeah, that's true. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us. Everyone. Oh, well, yeah, that would be good. Benefits day, everyone. The land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. Oh, no. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted. And unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. Oh no, that sounds bad. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. Okay, so she only cares about Wang Fu. I shouldn't make her worry. Uh, I'd be on the side that I shouldn't make her worry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Yeah, that's true. Huh. Okay, so an interesting uh, remembrance. You there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. Okay, so end of days or world eaters. Hmm. I know the world leaders are the bosses, I believe, as far as I've read. What is the end of days, I guess? Let's just see what that is. Records tell of the ruinous devastation the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land. Ah, the apocalypse yes. sparked a re-evolution, the second coming, and our lineage. Uh-huh. His you friend know. Gizmo oh. is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Okay, so it's talking about machines, I assume? Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Uh huh. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Yeah, that sounds like where I should go first. Out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. Okay, so I have the to road ahead defeat them won't all. be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. Oh, that's why I'm here. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Okay, so Porky Puff or how can I defeat the world leaders? I think uh, how can I defeat the world leaders is more important than asking about the Porky Puff. So let's, yeah, let's, how can I defeat the world leaders? His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Okay, so four machines I'll be able to get. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Okay. Can you give me a net? Rod net. Okay, I guess, yeah, I'll take that. Okay, main, west com main quest completed. Another world. Main New main quest. Fate of the world. Aha. Uh -huh. The deadlocked door. Okay, so I gotta pry this door open. Okay, um, is there anything useful in here? Like, I don't, I don't see anything... I see got a can and a rock right there. Those are kind of weird. That's like a chime, maybe? Okay, so I don't see anything useful in here. Okay, let's get out. Pry this door You're open. Getting the hang of it. There we go. Should I close the door on my way out? Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. Okay. You're going to be okay in there, dude? I mean, I, f I feel like I should close the door behind me, but... I don't think I can. Eh. Nope, can't. Okay, good luck, dude. Stay safe. Okay, let's get up here. Get up the rope. Grab and pull. I wonder if there's any way to go faster. Nope. Oh, okay. So you can hit Y to drop off. Right up. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm out of that place. What did you drop off for, grasshopper? Why did my grasshopper drop off? Okay, well, um, let's just... Why is it slowly following me like that? That's kind of weird. Oh well, I guess I'll be running off without it. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Well, that's what I'm here to stop. Okay. Looks like a really nice world, though. Uh, so this is basically the end of the prologue, <laughs> in a sense. Sprint. Oh, I see. Uh, I might want to change that. I don't kind of like that, but... Oh, well. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Ah, oh, okay. So... This might give me s some of my map. Venture out into the world. Let's see. Okay, signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You'll unlock a signpost when interacting with it. You can fast travel to a signpost you've unlocked by selecting it on the map. Okay, that's nice. To open the map at any time, press that. I think that's the start button, basically. Okay. So, place waypoint? Um, I guess? Oh, I can't. Okay, so... Let's check the map again. Okay, so... Where's the waypoint here? Can I... Yeah, I'm not sure what place waypoint means exactly. Oh, there, okay, so place waypoint will direct me back to it, probably. Yeah, that's probably what it. Eh, okay. So, let's see. Anything here? Let's just see what the next place I need to go here. I assume that's like an oil pipeline or something, maybe. An old oil pipeline. This seems like a, a f highway bridge. Uh-oh. No. Uh, that's not good. Uh, is he not gonna attack me? I... That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Yeah, I, the I will. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. Okay. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Yeah, that there's nothing left of it. So get over here. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Yeah, really. Dude, are you all right? He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Yeah, that's true. Your inner balance is two halves that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At, at times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. So this is probably the karma. Few are those who always act in the same manner, and our wholeness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions creates your aura score, which affects the dialogue with other characters. Okay. So he worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the tree of life survives the attack. <laughs> He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Yes, I have. Interacting with captives and Psy Shrines will award you with Psy Points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. P 
powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required dark or light inner balance. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Okay, so I have the choice of I'll leave you to your fate or let me help. Honestly. For me, <laughs> there's only one option. Let me help. I'd like to help the guy. Yes. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Of course. Okay. <gasps> That's a spark of light in you! Yeah, I, I like the light. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. <laughs> Bat the darkness away. Although I'll probably end up having to get some darkness points at some point. Psi point unlocked. Okay. You've gained a psi point. Use it to unlock powers in the mutations menu. Some powers are, are locked by the aura score, meaning that your psi points can only unlock powers of the same color as your current aura or those without color. Okay. So I unlocked a side point. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Okay, so he came all the way out here in his wheelchair. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. Uh huh. Okay. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Okay. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Okay. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess... The Jagni tribe only okay. ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. Well, that's they not believe necessarily that cleansing nice. is necessary to restore the world, and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Okay, well, that is... Yeah, My that's kind of a out of date says someone odd way to, look to at break it. the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. I'll probably side Even with Myriad. Even the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expect you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Okay, so have the tribes engaged the world leaders, or why Myriad? Um. Hmm. I guess why Myriad? Maybe? I mean, why not? Yeah. He can sense you share Myriad's view on the world. The okay. Myriad would embrace someone willing to fight against the tyranny of the Jagni. Yeah, that's true. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Okay, yeah. I'll be sure to be back here. Okay, quest tracking. Your current and started quests are shown in the journal. See the top menu above. You can change which quest you track by opening the journal tab and selecting another quest. Okay, so journal tab is up there on the map menu. Okay. So journal. In the journal you can find information on your quests as well as previous tutorials and dialogues. Okay, so tribe war, tree of life, another world. Okay. 
and side completed bunker 101 long gone ah okay and these are the tribes the myriad the lotus and kati the jagni the netra and the pichu pichu <laughs> ah, pichu <laughs> yeah uh doesn't it looks nothing like a pichu uh, okay so i'll probably yeah go with myriad okay so that's interesting another fork in the road it's either the tunnel or the motor bridge what will it be hmm good question i'll have to figure that out Let's uh, check out the side point quick. But otherwise, I guess I need to end this episode off. Psi powers, let's see. I can either get Blaze or Blink. So Blaze, to use Blaze, press down the input you have bound the ability to. Blaze will launch you forward and leave a trail of fire behind you. Okay. Wait, why do I have two dark points? Just some of the choices I've chosen? Okay. Wow. And Blink. To use Blink, press down the input you have bound the ability to. It will teleport you in the direction you are moving and create a shockwave where you reappear. Ah, okay, okay. So it Blink to basically cause a shockwave. Uh-huh. I feel like the blaze would be better, though. It would probably start... Yeah, that looks like that would start enemies on fire and stuff. So that actually would be cooler. So let's get blaze. Yes, there we go. And I guess I'll put that on B. Okay. Okay, well, uh, yeah, this I guess that's it for this episode. Got um, pretty interesting stuff. Basically just learned the past of what happened in, um, I guess, my past in here. Because, yeah, it basically went through as my me as a kid i guess so yeah i guess that's it for this episode if you like this episode hit that like button i really appreciate it it really helps us out a lot if you haven't already subscribe hit that bell icon leave a comment and of course share it have you played biomutant at all yet uh if you have how far have you gotten uh leave a comment and let me know and also come and join our discord it's a fun place to be and yeah just nice to be there so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time <laughs>